and this is to start the recording. As I said before, we're going to start with its trivia game, and then we're going to do a listening exercise, and I'm going to share with you a website that I really like to do listening exercises game. So let's start with this one. You have the time that you can see here, okay? So since it is the first week, let's start off easy. Who was instructed to build the ark? And you have these options, 50-50, or you have extra time, or you can choose the answer. And you have this time bar here. Who was instructed to build the ark? A, no. D. A or B? A. Let's a. say He's A, a. a. and... No. Correct! <laughs> yeah. Moses is the one with the ten rules. Yeah? Good. Okay, let's go with the next one. Which film is the highest grossing of all time? Highest grossing. So like the one that has made more money, has made more money. Maybe Avatar? Avatar or Avengers Endgame, I'm not sure, come on. Avatar? I'm going to go with this one, let's see. Gone with the wind. Didn't know about that one. I was, I thought for a second. But, uh, okay, next one here. All of these directors seem to have directed everything which of one directed Interstellar. If you know about cinema, I don't know if you like it, you can just guess. Pueden adivinar. Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan directed Interstellar. Okay, let's go with that one. Correct! Wonderful work. Yes. Okay. Good. Now you have a bonus round, so you can choose any of these cards and you can answer the questions. Okay, let's see. Or sometimes it's just the bonus. They are just... Which one do you want? One, two, three, four, five. Three. Number three, this one, yeah? Yes? Yes. Okay. Well, good. <laughs> Pretty lucky, yes. Okay. Okay. Next questions. We have two questions left. What random food related holiday is on 9 7 20, 21? So this 9th is September, September 7th, 21. Oh, this is a tricky one. National Blueberry Pops Day, National Red Salami Day, National TV Dinner Day. This is very American, right? So, any? We can choose some of these. Probably this one here. To have some help. You can choose between C and D. I don't know. You can look at the names, food-related holiday. Well, I don't know, C or D, you can guess. D, D. Let's see. D. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. It was, yeah, I had no idea about it either, okay? Yes. And number five, finally, let's see if you know about this one. 
All this is about the sports. Now that one week of NFL football is in the books, let's see if you remember who won the Super Bowl last season. Are you American football fans or you're not? We can have some extra time. Rams, option D. Option D. Option D, okay. Option D. Oh no! No! <laughs> okay. Okay, great. Okay, thank you for playing with me. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, now we're going to move to a listening exercise. I usually like to have at least one game in the classes so that we can relax a little bit. And uh, now we're going to do a listening exercise. For this listening exercise, uh, I am going to recommend this website. Okay, I usually recommend this website every time because it's a really good one. I'm going to show you how you can Google it. Yes. And if you Google for this website, it's you can write hello triple L or and I'm going to show you why I like it so much. I think it's very practical in terms of listening practice. So for example, here you go here and you can choose the level you want to practice with. Yeah. So if we have you are intermediate students. So the idea is that you check here uh, the level of, you have the different levels, you have it here, yes. And for each level, they have like a separate section of levels. You know, they have low beginner, mid beginner. Um, think, yeah, absolutely, yes, definitely. Yeah, I'm going to send it here, absolutely. And, um, you have different levels here, as you can see. Low beginner, mid beginner, high beginner, yes? We also have low intermediate, mid intermediate, and we have high intermediate, which is great because in intermediate, we have also different levels, yes? Uh, and we have advanced, yeah? So natural listening. So you're going to hear really fast conversations or naturally fast conversations with advanced vocabulary. So uh, I think we are in intermediate, yes, and um, yeah, we usually have the intermediate part, okay, good. So we can check here uh, low intermediate or natural English intermediate in low intermediate. It depends on what you prefer, yeah, I usually prefer natural listen but when i want to check anything i go with grammar listening yeah so let's go with the natural listening part and when you click on the level that you want to practice right so we have different topics and you will check the topic that you prefer the most yes so according to the ones that are presented presented here yeah okay so we have different topics in here uh, going to Mars, life in Mars, comfort food, the big game. Uh, here they're talking about the Super Bowl, right? Uh, macho women on the treble. You have different. You can choose any of these, uh, any of these listening uh, or topics. Okay, good. So, so here, for example, if we want to practice a little bit about. Uh, past I will go with this one that is memories yes but you can choose any topic that you prefer actually that you prefer okay good so and uh, here I had this listening exercise for today that is related to what you did yesterday usually when you click on a listening exercise cuando le damos click a un ejercicio de listening eh, nos va a mostrar el script de una vez aquí entonces Yo le sugeriría que demos clic en quiz para que podamos ver las preguntas. So here you can see the questions and you don't get distracted with the information and you actually focus on the listening part. Okay, good. That is my suggestion. So for example here, I clicked here, yes, and we have this uh, video and they also have the listening here. You can Sometimes you can download it, yes, okay. And you can see that the first thing that you see is the script. 
So again, I recommend you to click here on quiz so that you guys don't see what you're going to listen or don't see the information before you listen. Okay, good. So, okay, let's just start with this one and let's see how you do with this one, with this intermediate. If it's too hard, we're going to go back to the other one. Okay, good. So let's practice and let's see. Let's read the questions first. Okay, one of the recommendations that I usually do, and this is uh, something that I always recommend, is that you that you actually listen at least three times. Okay, so uh, I'm going to write it down and I'm going to give you the steps here. Okay, but I want you to listen to this at least uh, three times without seeing the script. Okay, without looking at the script. Okay. Going to move real quick here. I'm going to use this board that I have been using recently with you. Okay. We were doing the guessing game last um, last class. Yes. And I want you to look at this. Can you see it? Yes. So yeah, usually listen once to recognize the information, yes, or the topic, or the problem, or the situation, okay, good. I would always go with that one, yes. Uh, another recommendation is to read the questions first, yes. It's really important that you actually read the questions first so that you have some idea of what's going on, what is that they are presenting, okay. Uh, so then I would say listen again and answer the questions, yes? So in this part, in this first part, you can take notes, yes, of anything you listen to, okay? Then, uh, then you can listen again in case you have questions about, uh, you know, about any mistakes, right? So like, for example, in the questions, you got one mistake and you want to go over that information again. So you can go over that information again, okay? So at this point, you will have listened three times. By the time you're going to do number five, so then you can listen here listen to the audio again, listen and read. That is when you are going to see the script, the script, okay? So this is really useful, okay? And I really like it, to be honest. It's really practical, I love it, I really love it, okay? Uh, this has helped me a lot to improve my listening skills and after you listen, the final part would be to review expressions and vocabulary and then you will be able to learn, you know, to learn, uh, but you need to practice this, you know, uh, learn and practice. So I would suggest to have cards with this vocabulary, with this vocabulary that you have learned or any expressions that catch your attention, okay? Do you have any questions about this? These are usually, I always recommend the steps uh, to listen for listening practice, yes? You can also practice with music, you can do, you can follow these steps with anything, okay? But I usually, I do recommend to do this because it is really useful, okay? so that you get your ears or your hearing used to that, okay? If you have any questions about this, just let me know, or if I'm speaking too fast, let me know, okay? If you want to clarify anything in Spanish, that's okay too, okay? Any questions or concerns? Nope? Any questions? Okay. No questions. Okay, tomorrow we also have class before we uh, go.
go to the listening exercise, I want to remind you that tomorrow we have class at 3 p.m. again, okay? And uh, tomorrow we're going to uh, focus a little bit on pronunciation. Yeah. Okay. We're going to give the instruction of the video because we that is the last activity that we have on the platform, and then we're going to go over some pronunciation exercises. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Okay. So now we're, let's move to the listening part. Now that we know what is it, what it is about. Okay. So uh, let's go over this one. I want you to. I'm going to mute everybody. Or. Let's mute everybody, please, so that we don't have any interference when we're listening. I want you to do the first step, that is to listen and to take some notes, okay? So we're going to listen, it's 23 seconds, okay? I usually went to Cub Camp, you know, like Boy Scouts. Okay. Was it during the summer? Yeah, it would always be in the summer. And was it for a week or a month or? I, I can't recall. It probably was about a week. About a week? What'd you do at Cub Camp? Well, we do different things. Um, one thing I remember is uh, archery. Archery. Yeah, like bows and arrows. Mm -hmm. So we would have uh, a target and uh, we, we would practice trying to hit the target and I was really bad at it. I, <laughs> I remember always, um, it's quite difficult, and I would hurt my, my arm okay. with, with, the, with the bow. Um, but then after the, we were trying to get the target, I remember we did distance as well. And I was actually pretty good at that. I, I figured out how to get a long, uh, long shot away, and I, I think might be lying, but I think I, I maybe got the longest shot than anyone else. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, okay, besides archery, were there other games you played or sports you did? Yeah, well, we would uh, learn how to uh, canoe and uh, we'd, we'd swim and uh, we'd go on hikes. We, we'd learn how to navigate through the forest with a compass. Okay. Things like that. Did you learn how to start fire without matches? We did, yeah. We would uh, use um, two sticks, rub them together, start a fire. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what would you guys do at night? Would you um, play games or have campfires? Yeah, we'd always have a campfire at night. Uh, we'd sing some songs, like Kumbaya, and uh, yeah, put on some skits and tell ghost stories. But my favorite thing to do at the campfire was uh, roast marshmallows. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, we, I'd, I'd spend hours trying to find the perfect stick mm. to, to carve and uh, roast marshmallows on. Sometimes we'd even make the, the chocolate s'mores with the marshmallows. Oh, yummy. Uh, so that food was good. How was the other food? Um, I don't have any memories of it being good, so I don't think it was very good. We, we would all eat together in, in a, a mess hall, much like yourself, and uh, actually I remember getting really sick one time, and uh, my parents had to come and pick me up, and I think I, I got a bit of food poisoning. Oh, wow, from the food in yeah. the Cub Scout camp? Yeah, wow, right. okay. Um, final question. So you were away from your family, right? Mm -hmm. Was that hard or easy? Oh, it was it was easy. I, I remember feeling a little freer and uh, more independent away from my parents. Less rules, less regulations. You weren't homesick at all? I, no, I never did get homesick. Even when my parents came to pick me up that time when I was sick, I, I really didn't want to go home. Oh, too yeah. bad you got food poisoning. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks, Warren. Okay, any ideas that you could take notes? Any Any ideas that you could take? Take notes. A word or an expression or anything. Okay, Daniel. Teacher, uh, he's a. How do you say deportista? 
He's a sports person. He's a, he's a sport person. Uh, he he practices any sport. He swings. He navigates. Uh, he he practices any sport. Uh, he 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 dances with with his family. With her family. He dances with his, fa with his family. See, sí, and he he sing he sing songs, uh, especially kumbaya. Okay, great, great ideas. Anybody else? Anybody else who wants to? share his or her ideas about the listening no vocabulary he he like he like liked or likes one more, one more. excuse me like or likes like or likes. When we say liked, como esta es que le gustaba, ¿no? Si aún le gusta, yo diría he likes. Depende, okay? Liked or likes. So, what did he like or what he likes? He, he like campfire. Okay, good. Campfire. Like campfire. Okay. Sing, sing songs uh, with with friends singing songs with friends okay what else he practiced with, with the target he practiced with the target yes that's true okay um, it was a sport it was a sport yeah okay good wonderful Wonderful, we had great ideas. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, somebody else, anybody else? A mark could not hear it, but we're going to listen to that again, okay? So the second this is the first part. Remember that this is the first part. The second part is to listen again, yes. Uh, because I covered, you know, like I covered here the the subtitles or the the captions, yes. So now we're going to listen to, or we're going to read the questions, okay? We have here like five questions and we're going to read the questions. And then we're going to listen to that again, okay? So question number one, uh, let's listen to Andy. Andy, can you read question number one, please? If you can, if you cannot, a different person can do it, I guess. Uh, Andy or Amar, are you around? Can you read the first question, please? Or Luna? No? Okay, Daniel, can you read question number one, please? Leerla, es leer la primera pregunta. Okay. Okay. What does Warren say about archery? Okay, good. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to share the link with you and you can start answering the questions. Okay. We're going to listen to that again. Good. Here. It's on the chat. You can check it out. Question. So we have these options. He did it at the Capcom. He hurt his arm, he was easy, he tried to hit a target, okay? So, uh, number two, Samuel, can you read number two, please? What was Warren good uh, in archery? Good at what in archery, was, yes. What good was at. Warren good at in archery? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, option, uh, option A. That's right. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. 
So we have hitting target, shooting long distance, winning awards, and shooting animals. Uh, shooting, yeah. shooting a long distance. That is your option. Okay, we're going to listen to that again. Okay, and we, are, we will see. What else did Warren do at camp? That is the other question. Okay. What did he do at night at camp? And finally, how does Warren describe his camp experience? Okay. So we're going to listen to that again, and we're going to go over the questions. The idea is that you uh, pay attention to the listening again and you answer the questions. You have the link if you want to answer the questions on the separate link in your computers or on your cell phone, whatever you prefer. Okay, so let's listen to that again. So we're talking about camp today. Uh, did you ever go to camp when you were a kid? I did. I usually went to cub camp, you know, like Boy Scouts. Okay. Was it during the summer? Yeah, it would always be in the summer. And was it for a week or a month or? I, I can't recall. It probably was about a week. About a week? What'd you do at cub camp? Well, we do different things. Um, one thing I remember is uh, archery. Archery. Yeah, like bows and arrows. So we would have uh, a target, and uh, we, we would practice trying to hit the target, and I was really bad at it. I, <laughs> I remember always, um, it's quite difficult, and I would hurt my, my arm okay. with, with, the, with the bow. Um, but then after the, we were trying to get the target, I remember we did distance as well. And I was actually pretty good at that. I, I figured out how to get a long, uh, long shot away and... I, I think, I, I might be lying, but I think I, I maybe got the longest shot than anyone else. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, okay, besides archery, were there other games you play or sports you did? Yeah, well, we would uh, learn how to uh, canoe and uh, we'd, we'd swim and uh, we'd go on hikes. We, we'd learn how to navigate through the forest with a compass okay things like that did you learn how to start fire without matches we did yeah we would uh use um two sticks rub them together start a fire wow yeah. uh what would you guys do at night would you um play games or have campfires yeah we'd always have a campfire at night uh, we'd sing some songs like kumbaya and, uh, yeah, put on some skits and tell ghost stories. But my favorite thing to do at the campfire was uh, roast marshmallows. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, we, I'd, I'd spend hours trying to find the perfect stick mm. to, to carve and uh, roast marshmallows on. And sometimes we'd even make the, the chocolate s'mores with the marshmallows. Oh, yummy. Uh, so that food was good. How was the other food? Um... I don't have any memories of it being good, so I don't think it was very good. We we would all eat together in, in a, a mess hall, much like yourself, and uh, actually I remember getting really sick one time, and uh, my parents had to come and pick me up, and I think I, I got a bit of food poisoning. Oh, wow, from yeah. the food in yeah. the Scout camp? Yeah, wow, right. okay. Um, final question. So you were away from your family, right? Mm -hmm. Was that hard or easy? Oh, it was it was easy. I, I remember feeling a little freer and uh, more independent away from my parents. Less rules, less regulations. You weren't homesick at all? I, no, I never did get homesick. Even when my parents came to pick me up that time when I was sick, I, I really didn't want to go home. Oh, too yeah. bad you got food poisoning. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks, Warren. Okay, wonderful. Good. So let's go over the answers. If you need to listen to that again, we can do it. Does anybody wants Does anybody want to listen to that again, or it's okay? Good. Okay. So number one, what does Warren say about archery? He did it at Cup Camp. He did it at Cup Cup Camp. And number two, what was Warren good in art, good at in archery? So Samuel says shooting long distance. Do you agree? Agree. Okay. Shooting long distance. Okay. 
Number three, what else did Warren do at camp? Did you get or you didn't get that one? So every story is B? B, climbed mountains. Yes? Or which one? B or D? Which one do you say? B as in boy or D as in Dallas? <laughs> D as in Daniel or B as in boy? Which one is it? Or D as in Daniel. Which one are you, do you say? Anybody? We can listen to that part again if you want to. Podemos escuchar esa partecita solamente. So we're talking about camp. Well, we would uh, learn how to uh, connect. Okay, besides archery, were there other games you play or sports you did? Yeah, well, we would uh, learn how to uh, canoe and swim and uh, we'd go on hikes. We, we'd learn how to navigate through the forest with a compass. Okay. Things like that. Did you learn how to start fire without matches? We did, yeah. We would uh, use um, two sticks, rub them together, start a fire. Wow. Yeah. Option uh, D. Option D. D as in Daniel, yeah? Good. What did they do at night at camp? Option A. Cook marshmallows. Let's see, number five. How does Warren describe his camp experience? Option A. He was homesick. Homesick. Homesick, homesick is when you miss your parents. Es a tus papás. Okay? Uh, so let's see. Let's see how you did. Check answers. Again, okay, let's see. So we have uh, here, number one. He did it at Cap Capcan. Uh, this was correct. This was, uh, well, this was, it was true, yes. But what he says specifically about archery is this one. He tried to hit a target, yes, okay. And he hurts his arm. This one was correct. What else did he do? Walk in the woods, correct. And started fires. You had to, well, this, this is correct. But this was also correct. You see? And uh, here, you know, like, this is correct. But they, it, like, it, you were supposed to choose all of the answers that were correct. I thought that it was just one option. That was uh, my bad too. Okay? They also tell stories and sit around a, camp, a fire, yeah? But this one is the one that he describes the most, which is correct as well. And this one, it is incorrect. He was not homesick. Uh, I wrong, I wrong, number five. I wrong. Me equivoqué en la número cinco, sorry. It's okay, it's perfect, yeah. So, uh, he was homesick. Homesick es cuando uno extraña a los papás. Como que le dan ganas de volver a la casa. Eso sería homesick. Aquí decimos mamitis o papitis. Right? Homesick, oh, sí, exacto. Lo que pasa es que me confundí con, con el sick porque pensé que o sea enfermo, pero no. Yeah. Yeah, he got sick one time. Do you remember what, why was he sick? Do you remember what caused him to be sick? Or you didn't? You don't? Okay. So, uh, this, this, the, the third time that I would recommend to listen to is to go over this vocab section. That is really good, uh, especially when it's a naturally, you know, like we had the section of low intermediate naturally. When we have grammar, they explain grammar. For example, here in, in this example, this other listening exercise is also about past, yes? 
but in this one the focus is grammar so here you won't see vocabulary but you will see grammar yes and they explain past tense we had we had already or we have already explained that in the classes so I think we're covered about it but if you want to go over this information again it's wonderful yes okay and in this exercise that we're, we're, we're doing today it's more about vocabulary so you learn vocabulary from the lesson they give you an expression a specific expression that they used and you can listen to that expression again here yes target target we would practice trying to hit the target and I was really bad at it a target is an object we are shooting at notice the following one I'm terrible at darts I can't even hit the target Two, my dad enjoys hunting and target shooting. So what I would recommend on this exercise is to listen and repeat. They, they say this expression and they say this expression and they say this sentence. So I would listen and repeat. We were practice trying to hit the target and I was really bad at it. So that you actually practice pronunciation as you are listening, okay? Then you have navigate and you also have here this explanation and some examples and this is this is what they use, right? Esta es la que usan, la que realmente dijeron en el listening y estos dos son otros ejemplos relacionados con la palabra target en otro contexto, en otro contexto que tiene el mismo significado, ¿no? Aquí tenemos navigate, entonces él dijo we learned how to navigate through the forest with a compass a compass. Do you guys know the meaning of a compass? Sign is a compass. No. No. A compass is this round. Well, probably I don't know if you know it, but it's a round object that gives you the different cardinal directions, like north, east, west, or south. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that is a compass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the sentences sentence that they said in the listening, and these are two other examples that we have here. Okay, put on right. They say would sing songs and put on some skits and tell ghost stories. Okay. And then we have food poisoning. That is the reason why he got sick. He got food poisoned. And he said, I think I got a bit of food poisoning. Yeah? Is when you uh, feel intoxicated because of food, because something, probably food was damaged or anything like that. And then he says something about regulations. There were less rules, re less regulations. And finally, we have a vocabulary quiz here. Okay? So uh, I am going to invite you, and this is going to be like short homework for you to practice listening again. I am going to invite you to complete this uh, vocabulary part of this listening exercise, okay? And uh, tomorrow we will have, you can practice with this quiz, yeah? And the, that would be the second part and the final part would be to go over the listening you can see the subtitles here, so you can go uh, did you watch ever go the to video. Camp when you were a kid? I did. I usually went. And you can actually see, you can actually listen and read. Okay, listen and read. You can see here that the two people that are speaking here have different accents. One from the USA and the other one is from Canada. And these are real people. Okay, which is also wonderful. Okay, because they have people that speak English with different accents, which I think it's amazing because uh, accents change or vary from one country to another. So they also have Central American or Latin American people speaking English, which is amazing. They have people from Asia, people from Africa as well speaking English. Probably that is something that I also like about this website. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be your homework to finish completing uh, the vocabulary part. Tomorrow we will have a vocabulary quiz similar to this one about this, the vocabulary of this um, listening. Okay, 
les invito a que revisen el listening eh, con estas palabras, pero también con palabras que de pronto cuando vuelvan a escuchar, tengan ustedes que buscar y digan, ah, yo no sé esto qué significa, ¿cierto? Como esta palabrita que vemos aquí, como wrap, que sería frotar, ¿cierto? Wrap them together, yes. Two sticks, que serían dos varitas, yes. So, I, I invite you to, uh, to check, to do some work with this listening exercise. Es hacer un, un, un ejercicio adicional, que nos lo dan ahí con vocabulary, y después con la parte de leer y escuchar, ¿ok? I'm going to share this listening exercise on the chat, on the WhatsApp, ¿ok? Uh, chat, and that's it. Do you guys have any questions or any suggestions? No. no. Okay. Bueno, eh, I hope to see you tomorrow, and let's see if you guys are... See you. Okay, have see you tomorrow. We can interact tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good class, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being here today. Bye. Bye. Teacher, el link donde lo dejas, perdón. Lo voy a poner aquí otra vez y lo voy a enviar al, eh, al WhatsApp también. ¿Alguien de los que está aquí o de las que están aquí no está en WhatsApp? No, yo no estoy en WhatsApp. Entonces, déjame un segundito. Ya te comparto el enlace de WhatsApp. Voy a dejar de grabar.